you guys see this? This is the first language I've ever uh, come across. This is when I was about eight years old and we had Apple IIe's running uh, logo and um, yeah this is the first time I ever s saw programming and it was very cool because you could tell the turtle, see this is the turtle, you could tell them what you want them to do like in real time. You could say you know go forward, go backwards, let's say I tell them take a right turn one degree and I could also do things on repeat. So let's say I say repeat 360 times, forward, um, let's say 10, backwards 10, and let's move one degree. And actually, just because I did this already, it's going to be 359. But then it's going to, you know, and this, this made a circle. So, so I was amazed at this as a kid because I was like, wow you could actually type to the computer what you want it to do and it'll do it right away you know only later in life did I learn that what I was actually using was an interpreted language a scripting language and um, kinda like the terminal you know I can go to some kind of directory uh, let's say this is my test I could uh, show the files I could um, you know print the contents of the file, I could delete the file, whatever, right? But everything that I type here is interpreted right away. I mean, the computer just sees the text and it knows what to do with it. So both Logo and the Terminal are examples of scripting languages. And back in the day, scripting languages were considered lesser languages than, um, you know, traditional programming languages like C++, or Java and um, you know they would call people that used scripting languages script kitties you know this was like a, a considered to be a derogatory term you know somebody that can't like uh, program in a real in a real way like you're not compiling you're not um, uh, using the bigger languages let's say C++ this is the Stack Overflow developer survey of 2021 where they interview thousands of uh, developers and they they see what are the most popular languages and as you can see the top languages right now in 2021 2022 are are scripting languages now this is different when I started uh, programming um, you know maybe uh, 15 years ago professionally that is and uh, the languages back then Java and C sharp were all the rage you know especially C sharp it was huge so things are changing. Now, remember when I told you that uh, one thing that I like about scripting is that you could just um, type commands for the computer. You know, so you're essentially having a conversation with the computer. You know, if you can type fast, and I'll, I'll teach you how to type fast, but, well, I already have a video on that, and basically it's just get a blank keyboard, but the faster you type, Okay, the faster you can type, the more you can have these types of conversations in a very quick way with the computer. I mean, this is terminal. I'll show you how we'll use JavaScript for that uh, at, a later, at a later time. Now, is that to say that scripting languages will remain on top forever? I mean, probably not. You know, like it, this, this stuff always changes the popularity of things. You know, TypeScript, for example, is becoming very, very popular. Um, so you don't really know how um, or what developers will choose in the future but I can tell you right now I mean from my personal experience I just found a, about like a times 10 increase in, in uh, efficiency and development when I moved to scripting languages as opposed to compiled languages and in addition to you know how I said that it's like a conversation when you have a scripting language. In addition to that, another big reason is types. Now see this code here? This is some typical Java code. And you'll notice, you know, I, I circled uh, the types in green. And if you see other languages like C Sharp, C++, or generally speaking, any of the other compiled languages, or what I mean, generally speaking, compiled languages are usually typed. 
Okay, they're usually strongly typed where you have to define a type for every variable that you use. Now, I can tell you without a doubt, the number one thing that wasted my time throughout the years was types. So I will never ever go go back to using them. It's just I found it to be highly inefficient. Some people like this, okay? Don't get me wrong, some people actually love types and there are new languages such as TypeScript that emphasize types, but that uh, that type of programming is not for me. And um, that's what this channel is about, Shy UI. Uh, think about it like you're shying away from complexity. You're shying away from 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 um, from types. We remove all the things that are unnecessary. So what do we use instead of all these types? Well, I say let's just use one word for the whole thing and never use types again. Just use var for everything and that would be in code. That would be in JavaScript. But and here's the kicker. Let's not just leave it for JavaScript. Let's also uh, abolish all types in markup and we do that with div. So the way I do it is that in code I use var and in markup I use div. Now I know what you're saying to yourself, why don't you use let instead of var? And this is just a personal um, preference. I just prefer the way var works over let and I'll make a video on that in the future. But if you prefer to use let, just go ahead. But my point is, regardless of what we use, okay, I just want containers for both JavaScript and for HTML. I do not want explicit types. And um, that right there is probably the, um, the main difference between how I code and how others code. I only use two things. So that's it. I mean, again, Shy UI is not a framework. It's not a library. It is just a philosophy. And the philosophy is that less is more. And I'm going to show you, just by using these two things, how much I can accomplish, really. And it's a ton. And I'll be uh, making these series in a pretty rapid succession. So stay tuned. And if you have any questions in the comments section, uh, yeah, just ask away and I'll try to get to those, uh, to those questions. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.